First, the headlines for this Sunday morning, the 8th of December, 2019. The United States and Iran don't agree on much these days, but as Roxana Saberi reports, they have agreed to a prisoner swap. Smiling in Switzerland, Xiu Wang is halfway home after three years in this prison in Tehran. In 2017, his captors filmed him in captivity, accusing the Princeton graduate student of spying for the United States, a charge his wife has denied. My husband is an innocent man. Iranian scientist Masoud Soleimani maintained his innocence, too. The U.S. arrested him last year, charging he'd violated American sanctions on Iran. But yesterday, he also went free. The release of the two men comes at a time of rising tensions between Tehran and Washington. On Saturday, President Trump hinted that the swap could lead to more cooperation. Actually, I think it was a great thing for Iran. I think it was great to show that we can do something. Several other Americans remain in custody in Iran. Now their families say it's time for them to come home, too. For Sunday Morning, I'm Roxana Saberi in London. It's still not being called a terror attack, but we've learned the Saudi Air Force pilot who killed three people at a Navy base in Pensacola Friday held anti-American and extremist views. The AP reports the 21-year-old hosted a dinner last week where he and others watched videos of mass shootings. Lauren Bruner was one of the last sailors to escape the USS Arizona after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. He died in September at 98. Yesterday, he became the last survivor to be interred inside the sunken battleship. In Newport News, Virginia yesterday, the Navy's newest aircraft carrier was christened by Caroline Kennedy. The USS John F. Kennedy is named after her late father. Now the weather, a powerful storm is soaking the west and spreading snow in the Rockies. Mostly mild in the east, but it won't last because in the week ahead, invading Canadian air wallops temperatures from Montana to the Great Lakes. So bundle up.